in in we'll just take a couple of moments and I just want to share with you this is Anastasia compost Anastasia blue beyond guide and I just want to first of all thank you for being here because being here and this popping up or you being drawn to this video you're receiving codes and upgrade energies from source through my voice through 9D human embodiment, even watching this alone is enough to consciously be aware that you're uptaking. Uh, I've been given this space for 10 minutes to share about being conscious and repeating patterns I see and further explanation personally will be brought through on the 144 gathering number five, which will be on the 13th of May, a Saturday, not a Sunday. So welcome everybody. Um, I have a few things to share with you and first I'm going to get some energy gripes out of the way so now please stay in this moment please take this in freshly newly even if you found that you've either been through this before if you experienced this before when I voice table and share I am voicing in a new way so you may have said uh, I felt this a few weeks ago when I just shared about something and I'm talking about now in a new way on a higher vibrational level and I no longer personally reply back to those souls and remind them of that. I've reminded people many times. So I'm uh, going to share my first bit of gripe is new normal. The new normal that has increased this week in these last seven days in particular are people over speaking or speaking over others, which is different to what I do when I share and I jump in, it seems like I'm jumping in constantly, you know, uh, let people know that's how the energy flows, the information comes through so quick and I will need to grab that energy and table it mid-sentence and, and people just breathe, take a step back and let me continue bring the information through. Now that's done in respect, slowly working in with the soul. I'm talking about uh, especially younger generations, um, people speaking or over speaking, not slowing down to listen and pay attention. Now, 9 out of 10 people is, I'm now, nearly every time I'm going now, out is having people, asking people to slow down, pull back, take a breath, and to listen, please. Yes, it's another generation, yet I will not be railroad, we will not be railroaded or steamrolled. So, I just want to bring this to your awareness. I even had a situation... Um, the other day three times I was coming from a loving space stay in the moment with me please because things have changed that was over the top and bullying yet if we choose to take on those energies we are lowering our vibration and then we will start to transmute those souls energies because you can see what they need. You can see and you're coming from the loving space and you're holding the light. That's all changed. This is really, really important that you will not reach people who are coming from wounded ego. And right now there is a massive collective grief. There is a massive wounding traumatically in spirit that people are attacking other people. N neither are conscious of most times. Um, so... The best way is to uh, pull away, not have contact, cut all cords and ties with everybody. I've been speaking about this for over a year now, and souls are just now at that point, because everyone's got their personal growth to go through, of realising that the best way to do this is to cut off from everybody. And even if you said you've done this, again, stay with me here. That we need to, need to take things up another notch by choosing not to interact with that soul to point out some things. And as I was saying, I went into a shop the other day. I've never vibrated with this lady. I've always picked up the shadow energies in her. That's fine. Uh, we pick up a lot, we carry on. But this lady, when I went to get something amended uh, the other day, and I just politely, nicely asked, uh, could a, um, a, a good price, you know, a bit of a discount be considered because a year and a half ago I was let known if I had problems, come back in and then that person took a personal, got all huffy 
and then proceeded to explain to me that they look after our customers. We always look after them. I said, that's great, fantastic. And then she told me, and it was basically she gave me her word that she would. And, and then I said, oh, okay, that's great. And then I just generally said, oh, it's good when people live by their word. Then she hooked into me and explained again. And I put my hand on hers. I said, I got it. And then she did it again for the third time. She didn't get it. Three times. So I need to get my item back. And the best thing to do, I won't go back there again. But I was quite surprised at the unconscious of people from low vibrational wounded ego has accelerated up and and bullying and we need to take things up another uh, another notch um, I know many of you experiences experiencing this and this is above holding space it's imperative we either speak up or you remove yourself from that personal group now I'm you may again say, I've already been doing it. Please, I'm coming from a new space that this has increased. Please take that in. That what's happening now is people's old karma in spirit is off the charts and the hidden energy. Sit back and watch the show as I'm advising people. Sit back, pull back. It's not personal, it's business now. And watch what's unraveling. And what's unraveling is people are scrambling. The shadow sides are coming, coming up and out. And if you don't get out of the way, you will pick up the slack, even though you don't want to. So these are hidden energies that many are operating from in spirit that flows through to the human, that they're right, nothing you can say will sway them, and the bullying to them is normal and okay. This person's behavior over a few years has increased, so I can sort of use that as a benchmark. She was a bit niggly in the past, but then she got very smarty arsy in their new shop in that um holy dooly and uh, when i go back i've handed it over to spirit to deal with this it was pretty full-on and i'm not i've chosen not to go back and say anything after i have this item repaired uh, i've left it and handed it over to spirit now that if i'm to say something i will if it's for my benefit i don't i won't so this is definitely increased so big shift releasing green is coming through seven minutes I've got to make it to ten so I just want to show you that voicing tabling and you listening and uptaking is really important and the other reason I am doing this is to say to you all please slow down and read the emails you're being asked to be conscious because I've had three and I say this in so much love and I've let these souls know I'm not singling you out this is what it is that I wrote that a special offer of a gifting of two soul seats of the next 144 gathering if you are on the New Earth ahead of time email updates that when I advise the gifting is and the email comes and says the gifting is on offer first two people to reply people are not reading that and email me yes please yes please yes please I am sharing to say i am no longer i need to voice this to shift this to let this go i'm no longer able masters to reply to what you're not slowing down to consciously to uptake i am no longer going to or able to pick up the slack and email you all personally that now has to finish that means i'm picking up when you're not slowing down but gee you're in a fucking hurry to say yeah i'll have the free gift please sorry doesn't work like that let's get raw and real here you need to earn this. I pull back so you can come forward to slow down and read. And when you do that, the magic will manifest instantly. Yet if you're, and I say this in so much love, if you're not even slowing down to read the instructions, your vibration will not reach the Grand Master class, the group, or to come and join the 144. And that's okay. It's not a bad thing. There's no such thing as bad. It's all energy. Just means it's not for you at this time. So, we can no longer carry energies and no souls do not mean deliberately to do so, yet in real, raw, honest ascension, this is what happens. We are no longer energetically, we are no, mm, let me shift and, and, and anchor this in. As no longer are we energetically to carry, and yes, this means we need to cut off connections with all from within and then start again 
and step back and feel into every encounter, every interaction and pay fucking attention to what you're feeling, dear soul. <laughs> so a genuine inquiry through email. Absolutely. I'm always open if you want to join the email list with them. Golden message here is that the magic and the human embodiment and due to souls learning to slow down or to even realize they need to feel and ground in, that is the inner alchemy as magic has landed. You're missing the magic that you're being gifted because you're not slowing down to read or slow down or to do whatever. So I gently remind souls to slow down and read as we need to slow down consciously. In the future, I will not be able to personally reply as it's my pleasure right now, yet I'm pulling back where I no longer carry energies. And there's a difference to souls who are learning newly to souls who are not taking the time to consciously read. Slow down as many think they are further along or that can't wait until new earth arrives. Newsflash people, you are creating it right now and what you say, do, feel and release the old and all that involves as the work has just begun in a way yet for others who've been transmuting deeply for so long it's time to rise and shine masters voice and speak up and come forward so i want to say that there is no greater energy source than that of your own and your connection with spirit and it's time to be very honest with you as the greater awakened communities are just learning how to write and share yet still learning how to embody and release and transmute from 3D to 5D. So many of you, I'm in 5D. This is new earth energies. I'm telling you now, this is one of the purest new earth energies and ascension pioneer trailblazer on the planet that you'll find right here. I backed myself up after 28 years in actually trailblazing personally in Australia, being the first female to do so many things in Australia. So these aren't just words. So here's a quote from Vex King. How you treat people when you're annoyed or agitated is a better indication of where you're at spiritually than quotes you share on social media and the books you read. Slow down, pull back, start writing to clear energies and keep linking with spirit through feeling and listening. Not thinking, not thinking your head through emotions. Do you understand? It's by feeling. We may only just be beginning as we're creating our new earth it is not going to appear like ta-da uh, that's the illusion so many of you are still and when new earth comes i can't wait till new earth comes what the fuck are you talking about you are creating new earth who's going to do it it's you it's me consciously a new illusion of if you will of ascension from the head or from la la kumbaya land if you will um, I'm now seeing more and more and more separate from others as we be need to to begin again mistrust everyone with your heart of hearts with the divine as each soul one by one needs to earn your energy interaction I will no longer fill in the pieces pieces dear masters and this has been hard for me because I've been replying personally for years I'm different to others I have not been unreachable now I need to pull back for you to step forward and the message is respect yourself because I've stepped up for a higher purpose due to being ahead of time um, okay big shift this I need to share as there has been a massive shift with Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide, the year of magic. Time to embody. These are beyond words and energies through Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide. Embody consciously through feeling. I'm now able to utilize the energies that are living ahead of time that have been a most challenging and sometimes it has been through insanity coming through owning and accepting consciously as magical energies have now arrived through the physical and I've had some recent new experiences with this and I would love to share with you all and maybe I will in the next 144 gathering and now we're anchoring in so this has been an anchoring in video how do I go with to 10 minutes 14 okay let's finish up 15 so if you want to join 144 gathering number five if you think this is good wait till you join one of them it's by registration the vibe needs to be kept high and pure. The way is always provided for those souls. If you want to be part of the email list, the oracle speaks at bigpond.com. To catch the email, 
every month two seats will be offered somewhere in the next the last two weeks for those souls that really feel the resonation to join and you need to share a brief comment of why when I send the email with the special offer out don't put the cart before the horse masters when you shift that and focus of that unconsciously I assure you your life will change I'm going to bring through the 144 gathering on the 13th of May about the chain links of the head and how to shift old loops by looking at each chain link one by one consciously remember the universe is clearing karmic karmic energies in spirit the astrals of a massive collective grief this is the biggest physical purge I was this far off hospital this time through the physical because there's dark attacks that was um, darker energies that came through that so I'll cover all the month's energy updates through my voice personally coming from a human embodiment of 9d what this means is that you have access to and if guided as the way is always provided because this is an extremely high vibrational space of spirit soul in 9d which is the highest one can attain now we're going back up and linking soul to spirit it's taken 28 years of working with humanity as a human template ascension pioneer these are life-changing so I could go on and on the rest I'm going to save so please make an effort to see on the 9th of April was an amazing live that was life-changing breaking through the betrayal energies live on video that's all I will say you go watch you pick up what it is for you and see how this will change your life each one of these are massively massively life changing upgrading hello everyone look at all your beautiful messages thank you to see you all here and um, step it up another notch don't lower it to that level of shit people don't go there even though it infuriates and it does it still makes us angry in that moment because of the rudeness because of the audacity because of yeah and this is stepping out of making allowance for people you can't do that anymore energetically that's gone too so the days of oh she was coming from that and she she was coming from a wounded trauma I'm not going to hold space with them anymore I'll tell you why because this is life-threatening okay it really is serious in that way okay and we seriously lighten the fuck up I love you so very much the oracle speaks at bigpond.com hey did you know I am available for some for some one-on-ones I have some vacancies Anastasia bluebeyondguide.com forward slash divine healings and there's more on offer than the dates and times on the website so if you are feeling a calling to book in please email me if you would like to join the 144 gathering I've shared emails with the link so so much love to you thank you for all you are all you're going through you really need to step it up masters and keep writing for yourself to keep that link going and flowing for yourself and be super conscious and I will greatly assist in a magical inner alchemy embodiment way in the 144 gathering number five you can read it for yourself from others that's why i share from others real life proof all right so much love to you and it's time to strengthen my recovery from what i just went through physically and no you didn't go through that last week yourself even though it was similar i'm coming from a higher vibration nearly to the planet please pay attention slow down and read you may be missing out on blessings and giftings that are being dropped right in your lap